let me begin with a story. There was a bird who used to live with his parents near a pond. He was quite adventurous, but his parents always used to caution him that he does not have to cross this pond because there was danger over there. But one day when his parents went for hunting, he started flying and crossed this pond and reached his destination. He was quite happy, but there was a hunter over there who caught this bird and cut his wings. Then the bird realized that why he was cautioned by his parents. One day, sitting near the pond and searching new ways to go back to his home, a fish came and asked him that why he was sitting over there. In reply, the bird told her the whole story and said that I will not be able to go back home because my wings are cut. In reply, the fish smiled and said that you can still go back to your home, but for that you have to learn the swimming against your nature. No choice is with you. The bird was surprised to hear this, but his resilient nature accepted this challenge and he started the rigorous training. One day, he took the chance, he started the swimming and reached his destination. So, the bird never gave up. I call it inner resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back in difficult situations and face the challenges. I can relate to that bird. I credit my journey to my inner resilience, which I found in myself very early on. Although I have lost my power of sight, but in overcoming this loss, I gain the understanding of my other powers and potentials. These power and potentials led to my vision, and I call them the ingredients of my vision. The very first power, the sense of resilience, which I have mentioned early on, helped me not to lose my faith and not to lose my hope. Due to my inner resilience, my immediate reaction to the loss of sight was that I started exploring my future options. The power of resilience triggered my second power, the power of decision making. Here, I was lying on the bed and there was darkness around me. There were two ways in front of me. Should I give up or should I not? The power of decision making helped me to overcome my fears because I was determined to face them. The power of decision making triggered my third power, the power of transformation. Transformation means that how you change your fears into your strengths. Everybody has got some fears in their lives. I was having three fears in my life. Fear of water, fear of height, and fear of darkness. And I transformed these fears into my strengths just because of my power of transformation. Fear number one, fear of water. I transformed this fear and became a naval officer. Fear number two, fear of heights. I transformed this fear and became a naval pilot. And fear number three, fear of darkness. I transformed this fear and became the first visually impaired in the world to hold different kind of international rewards and recognition, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Overcoming these fears and changing them into my strengths was not an easy task. Believe me, because these fears 
can multiply some time and make you paralyze. Loss of sight opened my eyes. It made me realize that how easily life can take a turn and how easily our gifts can be taken from us. It also made me realize that there was no time for imaginary fears in my life. I have to face them and manage them accordingly because the time was too short. This helped me to develop my fourth power, the power of time management. Previously, when I was having this site, I used to do one minute task in 10 minutes. And now I try to do 10 minute tasks in one minute because I have so much to do, so much to achieve, and so much to contribute. <laughs> Loss of sight was a blessing for me. Like that bird, I realized that there is no one way of reaching one's destination. Life is just like a snake's progress, sometimes fast, sometimes slow, sometimes winding, sometimes reverting. But if you focus on your goal, you can achieve your destination and success can become inevitable. The realization of my powers at potential gave me strength to begin the social projects. And it happened quite accidentally. One day, in cold winters, I was going with my father to throw the garbage at the trash can, and there I saw with my father that there were children over there without any warm clothing, and they were shivering with the cold. My father told me this thing, and I was really embarrassed because at that moment, I was wearing a very warm branded jacket. I came back and I asked this question from myself that what I have done for the people and what I have done for the community. This was the initiation of my vision. After that, I initiated a charity project. I gathered the jackets and I contributed among those street children. I'm proud of them. I knew that I have no money or means in my pocket, but only thing which I was having was the vision. The vision gave me drive. After that, I never stopped, and today I have completed more than 50 charity projects single-handedly. You may think that I'm standing here just because of my loss of my sight, or just because the trauma I faced and the handicap I'm facing, or just because I have changed my fears into my strengths, or this is a rare story, I disagree. My vision led me to believe this thing, that every one of us is facing a handicap and it is stopping us to achieve our goals. Everyone has the potential to achieve something bigger in his life, only if we overcome our handicaps. For some, it may be a physical handicap like mine, which I am facing every day. And for some, it may be a mental handicap like fear of losing jobs, fear of losing resources, maintaining a certain lifestyle, aspiration to send their children to elite schools, or for some, spending summer holidays in some foreign countries. Believe me, these short-term goals and worldly desires deter us to look at the bigger picture and make us handicapped. And let us think that, pehle main ye kar loon, pehle main wo kar loon, abhi puri zindagi padhi hai, baad mein social work kar lenge. 
believe me, these desires keep on increasing. Life comes to an end, but these desires never end. Indeed, the life is too short. One thing my vision has taught me is this, that everyone of us has the ability to face, overcome, and manage our fears and disabilities. And then we'll be able to identify our two potential, and then we'll be able to formulate our vision for humanity. We, like the bird, have a choice. Choice of overcoming our fears, choice of creating greater goals, choice of building the vision, and choice of achieving those steps to achieve that vision. Previously, I was blind with the power of sight. And today, I'm not blind because I have got the vision. The vision to achieve and set the greater goals. If I can do it, everyone can do it. Thank you. Thank you.